This is part 27 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss jQuery map method. What's the use of this jQuery map method? Just like jQuery each method, map method is also used to iterate over matched elements. In general, if you want to create an array or concatenate its string based on all matched elements in a jQuery selector, it's better to use map over each method. Let's look at a few examples and that should make it clear. Look at the HTML here. We've got an unordered list with a few list items. Now what we want to do is create an array of all these list item text values. So basically we want to create a string array which is going to contain these country names. We can achieve this either by using each or map methods. First let's see how to achieve this using each method. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we have the same unordered list and within our jQuery ready function the first thing that we want to do is create a variable. Let's name it result and this is going to be an array. And now we want to retrieve all these list items. So I'm going to use this jQuery selector $li. So this is going to give us all the list items and on that we are going to call each function which is going to iterate over each list item. And let's specify our callback function and this callback function is going to have two parameters, the index of the element that we are currently iterating over and the element itself. Now we want to retrieve the element text. So let's wrap this element using the jQuery wrapper, so dollar element, and then we can call the text function to retrieve the list item text. Now we want to push this text into this array. So result is the array and then on that we can call the push method and then push the text value of the list item into that array and then finally let's alert whatever we have got within that result variable. So let's save the changes and when we reload look at that we get the array of all the country names. Okay so here we're using each method. Now let's see how to rewrite this using map method. So here we have got at least three lines of code, but with map method, you know, the amount of code that we are going to write will be reduced. So first of all, we don't require this separate variable, so I'm going to remove that. And instead of each, we are going to use map. And if you look at this map function, look at the syntax, you know, this also expects a callback function, just like each method. And here is our callback function, and it's going to have the same set of two parameters, index and element. And we don't have the result variable anymore, so let's get rid of that. So dollar element dot text, this is going to give us the text of the list item, and what we are going to do here is simply return that text item. Okay, and then to convert this into an array, we are going to use get method here at the end. So we are going to chain the get method, which is going to convert this into a JavaScript array. So it's going to iterate over each list item, retrieve the element text, and then all the list item texts are now returned as a JavaScript array. And then since this entire code piece is going to return an array, we can wrap that around alert function like that and we can get rid of this alert here. So now let's save the changes and when we reload we should get the same output. Okay, see how simple it is to create an array using map method. Now let's look at an example of creating a pipe delimited string of all these list item text values. So the output should be like this. Look at each country name is separated by a pipe symbol. Let's see how to achieve this using each method first and then we'll rewrite it to use map method. Okay, so we need a variable to hold our string. So let's create a result variable, initialize that to an empty string. And then we are going to use each method first. So instead of map, I'm going to use each method and this is going to iterate over each list item. And then what we want to do is use this result variable. So result plus equals the element text and to that we want to append the pipe symbol. And let's get rid of this get method at the end. So now result 
variable will contain you know each list item text value that is the country name and a pipe symbol okay and if you alert I mean when we alert this the string that we are going to get back will contain an extra pipe symbol at the end let's actually look at that so we get all the country names delimited by pipe symbol but there is an extra pipe symbol at the end so we need to remove that as well so to remove that I'm going to use uh, JavaScript substring function so we have this result variable so result equals result dot substring and we have to specify the start character so we want to start at zero and we want a substring until result dot length minus one we don't want the last pipe symbol that's why we are subtracting one from uh, the length so now when we alert this we should get a string a pipe delimited string without that extra pipe symbol at the end so this is the amount of code required to create a pipe delimited string now let's see how to rewrite this using map method so with map method first of all we don't require this variable so let's get rid of that so instead of using each I'm going to use map method and with map we don't have this result variable so let's remove that let's remove that pipe symbol as well and we are simply going to say return element dot text which is going to return the country name and then at the end I'm going to use get which is going to convert that into an array and then I'm going to use this join method JavaScript join method so with every list item text I also want to join the pipe symbol so pipe is going to be our separator now and look at this we could achieve all this in a single line with method chaining and let's alert this using JavaScript alert function and we can get rid of these two lines here so let's save the changes and when we reload this look at that we get the pipe delimited string and here is that example in our next video we'll discuss the differences between map and each methods and when to use one over the other thank you for listening and have a great day